Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create an entire website using the Elementor template kit. There are many websites from where you can get Elementor template kits at a reasonable price and you can use these template kits to create any kind of website using Elementor plugin. For example, here is a website elements.envato.com and on this website, you will find thousands of Elementor template kits that you can use to create any kind of website. The other website is SR Mehran Club, in which you will get access to premium plugins and themes and Elementor template kits at a reasonable price. I have a separate video published on how to use SR Mehran Club. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch this video. I mostly use the Elementor template kits from this website, elements.envato.com. More than 3,800 template kits that you can use for any kind of website. And the pricing is also very good. You will get access to thousands of Elementor template kits at $16.50 per month. And it's not only for the template kits, you will get access to thousands of premium plugins, video library, stock videos, music, sound effect, graphics, graphics template, photos. Everything is included in Envato Elements website. So if you want to download template kits, you can use this website. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy a monthly plan, you will have access to unlimited downloads. So there is no restriction on downloads. Now we will see how we can use the Elementor template kits. Let's consider you want to create a website for dentist. So I'm going to search for dentist. And here the filter is applied for the template kits and you will see many template kits are available for the dentist website. You can just simply open that template kit and see the preview. How does this look? You will see a live preview here. And in the description of this template kit, you will see whether it is compatible with Elementor Pro plugin or not, whether you need Elementor Pro plugin to use this template. Some template kits are only for the Elementor Pro plugin. So you will need Elementor Pro plugin. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can use other free plugins to install the Elementor template kit. I have published a video on how to install Elementor template kit using Elementor Pro plugin. You will see this video here. If you have Elementor Pro plugin, you can use Elementor Pro plugin to install the template kit. If you do not have Elementor template kit, you can watch this video how to install Elementor template kit using free plugins. So you will learn how to import and install it without using Elementor Pro plugin. However, if the template kit is designed for Elementor Pro plugin, then I'll suggest you to look for another template which can be installed without using Elementor Pro plugin. So here is another template kit. You will see Elementor Pro compatible. So you will need Elementor Pro plugin. Again, if there is any other plugin required, it will show it here. For example, if I go to this uh, template kit, it shows plugins installed with kit. So it's going to install Elementor, Elementor Kit Lite. This is a free plugin. So you will need to install this one also. Metform will be used to create forms. And this is another Elementor add-on. This is also a free plugin. So in order to use this particular template, you will need to install these four plugins also. So you can simply search for plugin and you can get it installed on your WordPress website. After that, you can import and install the template kit on your WordPress website. All right, so this is the preview of this particular template kit. Here we have a third one. Let's click on live preview. Let's go to home one. All right, so this is the preview of this particular template kit. And if I go to description, it says, it shows that it is compatible with Elementor Pro plugin and no other plugin is required. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this template and I'm going to save it on my computer and let's see how we can install it and how we can create a website. So let's go to dashboard of the WordPress website. Let me show you a WordPress website here. This is a new installation and on this website, I have installed the theme that is Hello Elementor. This is the basic theme required for the Elementor website. This is one of the best theme designed by Elementor itself for the Elementor plugin. And if I go to plugins, I have the basic Elementor plugin installed as well as the Elementor Pro plugin installed. Now before importing and installing the template kit, let's create a page here that will be used for home page. So I'm going to delete other pages and create a new page home page name it as home publish it let's go back to dashboard 
under settings go to reading and let's use this home page as the main page or the index page of your website all right now we are going to create the menu also so that will be shown at the top name it as main menu create a menu and let's add home in the menu so we have got the menu ready now here you will see an option elementor settings go to elementor settings now we are importing the elementor template kit and we need to tell the elementor that we are going to use the font and style settings from the elementor template kit so here you can check these boxes disable default colors and disable default fonts and it is going to use the elementor template kits font and color click save changes done now let's go to templates and under templates you will see kit library click on it here you will see some template kits are available to install these are the template kits designed by elementor some of them are for the pro version only and some of them are for the free elementor template kit so if you want to use these template kits you can use these template kits also if you like you can use the free template kits also now in this case we are going to import the template kits so click on import kit and select the file that you have downloaded i have it on desktop so this is the template kit that we have downloaded you do not need to unzip it or open it you need to browse the zip file check the box click continue click import and enable it All right, so it says your kit is now live on your website so let's click on close all right so the template kit is installed now we are going to customize the template kit on your website there are different sections such as the header section the footer section if you are using blog then blog template as well as the single post template and single page template now here we are using elementor pro plugin and we can use the elementor theme builder to design these sections of your website so let's go to templates and here you will see theme builder theme builder is a feature of elementor pro plugin so you will need elementor pro plugin to use the theme builder and using theme builder we can create header section footer section post single page and blog template now if you do not have elementor pro plugin you can use another free plugin that is called as elementor header and footer builder i have already published a video on how to use header and footer builder in elementor you can watch that video here we are on the elementor theme builder let's go to header and you will see that the header is already created because we are using a template kit which is compatible with the elementor pro plugin in many cases the header section will not be created automatically you need to click on add new button and from here you can import the template let me show you i'm going to click on add new and you can go to my template and you will see the header template that you can import you just need to click on insert and it will create the header section for your website now in this case we already have the header section created so i'm going to click on edit and you will see this is the header that we have that we will be using for our website now if you want to customize it you can simply click on that section and you can change or edit that section for example here i want to add my logo so i'm going to replace this logo here you will see a menu bar if you want to edit if you want to use another menu you can select it from here this is the call to action you can also increase the width or height so the header and footer will be fully customizable you can just make it full width no gap just like that so this is how to look so this is the header section now if you want to know how to customize it i have a video published on how to edit or how to create the header section using elementor theme builder you can watch this video for the header section now here you will see another video how to create custom footer how to create custom footer using elementor theme builder this is a detailed video you can watch this video this is the video about how to create the blog page using elementor theme builder and how to customize 
the shop page in a WooCommerce website using Elementor Theme Builder. So if you want to create e-commerce website using the WooCommerce plugin, then you can customize the shop page or the product page using the Elementor Theme Builder. You can watch this video. So here we have the header section. You can simply click on update once it is done. Click on add condition and this header will be applied for the entire site. So you need to select entire site, save and close. So this header will be applied to the entire website. Next option is footer. Again, footer is already created. If you want to edit, you can go to edit section. And this is the footer. You can add your elements here. You can add new section and you can add more content in the footer section. Here, let's say I want to add site title. I can drag and drop it here and it will add the site title here. You can customize it. You can change the color also. So this is the current site name. So you can change and you can add your name there. Click on update, add the condition, entire website and click on save and close. So this footer will be applied for the entire website. If you want to change the site name, you can simply go to settings here. Then go to site settings. And here you will see site identity. You can add your site name here. And once done, you can update it. You can also add site logo and site favicon and site description. You can update and this will be the name of your website. Now let's go to the next option is single post. This is the template for the single blog post. This is the template. Right now there is no template for the single page. If you want, you can create a new template for the single page. Archive is nothing but the blog template. You can create it from the scratch. I have a video tutorial here. You can watch this video on how to create the blog page template. Next is search result loop item and error 404. So you can create these templates using the Elementor theme builder. Now let's close this one. Now you can also change the site settings from here. Go to settings. You can change the site name and the tagline from here. All right now let's go to pages. We have home page here. Let's edit. Now what we are going to do, we are going to import the template for the home page. In the template kit, we have the home page template. Here you can change the layout to Elementor full width, update it and click on edit with Elementor. Click on add template. This is the option my template. My templates is nothing but the templates that you have imported using the template kit. So if you scroll down, you will see a template for the home page. So we have got three different templates, home one, home two and home three. So you can use these templates. Now, if you are creating contact page, then you can go to contacts template. You can import this template for the contact page. So you need to create contact page, then go to edit with Elementor and import the template for the contact page. So here in this case, I'm going to import the home one template. Click on insert. And you can see that the template is imported. This is the hero section at the top. You have this banner. Then we have some content services and testimonials. Click update. This is the gallery. And let's go here and click on view page. Let's see how does this look. So you will see that the header and footer is already applied there. You can customize it. You can change the width and height of the, of the header section. This is the banner at the top. Then we have this content, services, testimonials, gallery, and this is the footer section. So you can see that the header and footer is already applied for the entire website. Now let's go to new and create a new page. Let me show you another page that we can create. Name it as contact. Again, select Elementor full width. Here we are using the templates to create this page. So that's why I have selected Elementor full width as a template. Click on edit with Elementor. Go to my template and insert the contact page template. 
and this is the contact page you can customize it you can add your phone number email and location if you want to add more content you can add more content you just need to click on that section and you will see the settings in the left hand panel so here you can add your email address and this is the location and here you will see the form is already included this is the form created using the elementor form widget that comes with the elementor pro plugin only click update and click on view page and this is how the contact page will look so you will find templates for many of these pages you can use the templates to create new pages now let's go to dashboard go to appearance and then go to menus and we have contact page click on contact and add that page to the menu click on save menu let's go to contact right now we do not have contact here so let's refresh it and contact page is added in the menu bar so you can start creating pages and add them one by one in the menu bar and if i go to templates here you can go to templates go to save templates and you will see all these templates are available for your website our services what we do about us is there prices our team gallery locations blog as well as gallery home one two three so so it depends on which template kit you are going to use for your website so on this website you will find thousands of elementor template kits you can use any template kit so instead of using free plugins you can use elementor pro plugin that's one of the best plugin that you need to create any kind of website whether it's a business website services website or any kind of e-commerce website so if you want to create websites for your business or if you're a web designer and want to create websites for your clients then you should definitely try using elementor template kits you can watch these videos in all these videos i have explained how to use the elementor pro plugin and the elementor theme builder to create the entire website and if you want to download the templates from envato.elements.com i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link in the description box so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.